Metro Man here, working on uh, Ice Cold Cuts Mobile Barber Shop. Black Lives Matter. I asked permission from the Squamish Nation to come and do this, and it was granted to me. And so, I'm almost done. I asked people a year ago to come and help. They feel Black Lives Matter. I posted it on Black Lives Matter. Nobody showed up. This card's going to a Caribbean person to make ice cool cut. How many people do anything for Caribbean African people? You go by the uh, barber shop, you see it's pretty much empty. And so we built this mobile barber shop. I pretty much did it on my own for a Caribbean. One love. I want to go for a freight train ride. But I'm stuck working on this cart. And there's fires going through the Okanagan Valley. So I can't be going anywhere. I finished the paint. I'm ready for a marine clear coat. Got the back end to finish. Installed the little window here. The house window. I'll be doing that in the next few days. Pulled out the uh, gas line. I can't contaminate inside. Now I'll show you guys what it looks like in here. Oh, locked door. Cut the lights up. Got the mirrors up. The other mirror. It's really messy in here right now because I had a roofing uh, material in here and I had a whole bunch of other stuff in here, so that'll all be taken out. I just got to finish boarding up here. And I'll be doing that sometime today. I had a nasty injury off that freight train that derailed. I'm just recovering. So it took a lot longer than expected. And plus, I'm not really a master carpenter. And so this is it. I ran the wires. Mr. Lewis from Ice Cool Cut's been participating in this. It's pretty much just him, I. Uh, Patrick Wong assisted with the electrical. I did the layout of the electrical, ran the wires, BK help. Patrick came in and certified the work. And uh, that's that. Extended a box in the back. It's all insulated. BK assisted with the insulation on and off. He was busy uh, doing work. It's all in oak. It's all in oak. And I'm pretty much at the door. I got the paint here. I tell by looking at my garments there. Hey, I'm looking for funds for new clothes. You guys see me walking around on the street there. Don't be shy provide a bit of donation so I can dress a little bit better. I didn't charge uh, Ice Cold Cut for any of the uh, work done. He couldn't afford the hours. Uh, he's not making much money at the barber shop. He makes just enough to pay his rent and that's about it. And that's because the place is mostly empty because people don't really support African people even though they all say they do. You can tell by going to African shops in and around Vancouver that there's not much support and it's unfortunate it's really sad so on behalf of the Squamish Nation and BK because he did help this uh, cart was constructed including the help from uh, Johnny Karenovic who's a window installer uh, he was very remarkable in providing us with blue skin. He provided us with a place to be. Um, he is my landlord, and he's one remarkable person, Croatian. Very, very, uh, very remarkable. When he found out it was going to a Caribbean person, he was more than happy to help. I'll be finishing the ceiling sometime next week. The wheel wells are done. A beautiful wooden oak floor. I don't have much left to do. Up here is the same thing, beautiful oak top. 
I gotta get rid of all these tools there. I'll do that in the next few days. So there you have it. I'm just disappointed that not many people showed up and I told everyone I was on 14th and commercial that the cart was being built for a Caribbean. I wasn't charging him an hourly rate because he can't afford it and this will hopefully generate enough revenue for him and his family so that they can continue on with their business. The guy's a very hardworking person. He doesn't, like rumors say, they all sell drugs. He doesn't do that. He cuts hair. Uh, his wife works with hair. He just had a newborn baby boy. This is well worth my time. Mr. Kenny Lewis. Metro Man here. Looking to catch out. Once again, Metro Man here looking to catch out. We installed the yawning, salvaged it from another camper. Put it up, we readjusted the spring, and it's just looking sharp. I got a couple other things to do and it'll look really, really good. So once again, Metro Man here, looking to catch out. first mobile barber shop. It is going to style in there. It'll be like walking into a very extensive room. Very nice and comfy. It smells good and it is so sweet in there. Come by and check it out. Y'all be welcome.